Okay, in the last video, we looked at grabbing whole columns and whole rows. In this video, I wanna show you how to grab a range, any specific range that you want. So I came down and commented out the stuff from the last video. So here, let's grab a range. So to do this, I'm gonna call this uh, range. And it's just like before we grab the WS, the worksheet, and inside of here, we just set up a slice that we want. So any slice that we want, and we use a colon for that. So let's go, for instance, A2 to A10. And if we look at our spreadsheet, that's just gonna be A2 to A10. So John through Steve, that's a slice, right? Slices in Python are always used with colons usually. So, okay, we can grab that. Now, let's print this out just to see what this is. So print range. Let's go ahead and save this, head back over here and let's run this guy. Let me clear the screen. And here we see this is definitely a tuple, but it looks like inside of our tuple, there are other tuples. So this is a tuple full of tuples, which means we're gonna have to loop through this a couple of times in order to get this data out. So we can do that. We learned how to loop in the last video. So let's go loop. So let's go for cell in range. And again, I just invented this cell. You could call this anything you want. You could call it X if you wanted to, it doesn't really matter. So inside of here, we can print out cell. Now, if we save this and run it, you'll notice there are two brackets. There are two parentheses, right? The first time. If we run this again, now, well, hold on. We're still printing out this. Let's get rid of this. Save this. Now let's run this again. Now it's just printing out each individual tuple, right? We still need to loop through here again to get the stuff that's inside of each of these tuples, right? So we can do that again, let's come down here. And instead of printing this out, let's do another for loop inside of this loop. And you'll notice here I'm in indenting. I'm using the tab key on my keyboard. Do not use of the space bar to do it like that. You have to tab these things. Python is tab sensitive. So, okay, so inside of here, we could do it again. So I'm gonna call it X this time for X in cell, which is this variable. Here we wanna print out X. So if we save this and run it, and let's clear the screen, we'll, we get the same thing, but now the tuple parentheses are gone from each one which means we can dot value this now, right? So here we can dot value, save this, run it one more time, and we get the values, John through Steve, A2 through A10, which is exactly this, A2 through A10. So if you have a specific slice you wanna get, this is how you can do that. So you can get crazy with this. We can go A2 through, A2 through uh, B10, for instance, if we, if we want all of the data. Save this and run it. Uh, let's go ahead and clear the screen. Now we get John blue, Aaron red, Sam pink, Tina green, Josh yellow, et cetera, all the way through here, because we're grabbing all of it, one big crazy slice. So those are slices, those are ranges, maybe not quite as useful, but Definitely a tool to keep in mind if you have a very specific range of stuff you want to get, and uh, that's all there is to it. So in the next video, we'll start to look at iterating through columns and rows specifically, and that'll be coming up.